Wayne Williams spent Christmas Day inside a jail cell, a suspect in at least 15 of the Atlanta child murders charged with only two. This time last year, police had no suspect on Christmas, only 17 unsolved cases. On Monday, Williams leaves his jail cell and goes back to court, this time to stand trial for the murders of Nathaniel Cater and Jimmy Ray Payne. When Wayne Williams arrives at the Fulton County Courthouse on Monday, the sidewalk in front of it won't be as empty as it is today. In fact, it will be very crowded, with reporters and photographers all trying to catch a glimpse of Williams, his defense attorneys, and the prosecution. And that crowd will be creating a problem for the sheriff of Fulton County, whose main job is to protect the defendant. This is definitely the biggest security cases I've ha ever handled. Sheriff Stinchcomb has had to juggle personnel for the trial, a difficult job since he must run an overcrowded jail and a busy courthouse. When this trial starts, about 50% of my court deputies are going to be assigned to that one court, and we've got 11 other courts running. And so we're having to ask for volunteers from the deputies who are off duty to come in here and help us out. Since the arrest, the sheriff has had deputies working overtime. Williams is guarded 24 hours a day, has separate meals brought in, and has generally become a celebrated prisoner. How come security has to be so tight? Well, because of the nature of the charges against uh, Mr. Williams, and the, they might have been cranks, but the calls we have gotten since he's been in jail, uh, indicating somebody wanted to get him. Uh, You'd rather overreact. I'm overreacting to this, this extent. More than 600 potential jurors will show up at the courthouse Monday. Many have been asked, but only a few will be chosen. And those few will be isolated for possibly two months, deliberating the innocence or guilt of Atlanta's only suspect. Ernie Bjorkman, Action News.